you know that I often give you homework to do. Homework to help you and me to grow spiritually as we practice the presence of God and practice doing God's things. Today I'm going to ask you to go forth into your world appreciating others. I'm going to ask you to give away that appreciation. Often we think it in our minds, but we don't say it. We don't communicate it. If you've heard me talk before, you might have heard me tell the story about when I practiced this one day. I went into a Walmart and I, in all sincerity, appreciated a woman working there. I told her what a great job she was doing. Even today, it affects me because tears started to roll down her cheeks. And it started to roll down mine, too. We made a connection. And I, I told you, if you've heard this before, that I became a family friend to her husband and her kids. And, and I was invited over for uh, the best Mexican dinner I have ever had in my life. Uh, because the ingredients of the dinner and the activity was solid love. The communication started with sincere appreciation. People are starved for it. And I ask you to give away that, to become like a farmer casting seed out that will help people to become nourished, and help them to grow. I'm also going to ask you to do this in your own family. You're going to bless your loved ones with a prayer of appreciation, and you are going to pray, and then you're going to verbalize it. You're going to pray, Dear one, I love you, and I bless you, and I appreciate you. You're going to give thanks for them because they are special and unique and because there is no one that can bless you in the way that they have. And you're going to then, after you pray this prayer in sincerity for a spiritual blessing to reach them, you're going to verbalize it with your voice and you will touch them, even in this time of social distancing. You will touch them at a depth that they will probably remember for the rest of their lives. You will say to them that I really sincerely thank you and I support you for doing the best that you're doing at all times. And you will make a difference in doing this. What a wonderful way to practice the presence of God. In Ephesians, it says, I do not cease to give thanks for you. Well, today, you do not cease to give thanks and to appreciate others, and to tell them. You pray first because it gives you the courage to verbalize your prayer. And you go forth and you realize that as you sow and release this blessing to people, that you will see a new rejoicing come in their soul. You'll see many times a new person literally emerging in front of your eyes. You'll see people become as an ever-evolving child of God. It is a wonderful thing to witness, and I know of nothing more instantaneous that can happen as you appreciate another verbally with all sincerity. And you just, in everything inside of you, the words that are special to you, you say, thank you for making my life more meaningful in this moment. 
And I love you and appreciate you for the special blessing that you are in my life. Even when a person is, you know, hard, where they have a hard time expressing their emotions, you'll see the reaction in their eyes and you'll see the difference in the way they treat you the next time they see you. It will be something where they will be so glad to see you because you're so needed in their life and because of the gift that you gave them. So today I ask you not to cease in giving thanks for other people and to appreciate and to go forth as a farmer sowing that seed of blessing.